It's called information overload, a theory that has recently been developed to address the intake of too much data due to the widespread use of digital devices, massive amounts of new information, and the ability to transmit this information so quickly. What's truly fascinating is that Americans spend half of their year consuming information. That's 182 and a half days of straight data consumption. If I break it down, the average person consumes information for 12 hours a day, taking in 100,000 words a day, which is 201 letter-sized pages of text, single-spaced. The scariest part is that when only read, we remember 10% of this information. The stats on the internet seem decent, with the average person spending 32 hours online a month. During the same time, 30 billion new pieces of content are published on Facebook. That's three with 10 zeros. In terms of emails, the average professional receives at least 100 emails a day. No wonder why Yahoo's survey found that one third of people would rather clean their toilets than sort through their inboxes. What's more interesting is that the average professional checks their inboxes 30 to 40 times an hour. The 21st century is clearly redefining multitasking. In a college lecture, students open twice as many distractive windows on their laptops as productive windows. For every 100 productive windows, students also opened 27 email windows, 33 surfing and entertainment windows, 43 instant messaging windows, 87 operation system windows, and 19 miscellaneous windows. The question is, does multitasking work? Research states that one in every 40 people are able to multitask without performing worse at either task, which means a mere 2.5% of people are what they've coined supertaskers. So what does this mean for the rest of us? Our brain can process 100 trillion instructions per second, while our working memory can hold between three to four tasks at a time. Multitasking has been a large contributor to information overload, which in turn has been a large contributor to our country's deficit. It's estimated to have cost the U.S. economy $900 billion annually since 2008. $900 billion a year. I could go to space with Virgin Galactic 4,500,000 times with that money. So what does this all mean? Well, for starters, it means we've become digital junkies. But the real question is, how do we fix this? We need to learn how to limit ourselves. We need to turn off our cell phones, our laptops, our iPods, even if it's just for an hour. We need to read books. We need to embrace the time it takes to complete a singular task. We need to go outside and enjoy nature. Essentially, I think we need to unplug.